Gotcha. So here's a pattern I've been doing really well with recently at Grafham, especially in the harbour. Uh, it's uh, basically a humongous booby. Uh, it's a great fry imitation. It's great for in the fry. It's got all the trigger points, loads of movement in the tail, plenty of fuss around the body, a little bit of sparkle wear as well. And I found it to be a very successful booby for me over the last few weeks. And as you've seen in my previous video, uh, they certainly liked it when we fished with them inside the harbour walls. Great for sink and draw methods. Uh, fairly big eyes on them as well, keep them nice and buoyant. So I think we'll just run through and give you a shot at a the time. These just tell you exactly how I like to do them. Everybody's got their own variation, but as long as you get the movement and the fuss in there, I think that's what counts with these flies. So, size 8, medium wet hook i've already tied the booby eyes onto them i like to shape my own booby eyes uh, that's for another video but uh, it's just personal preference um i'm just gonna put on a little bit of white utc there it is and 140 i like this it's nice and thin but it's lovely and strong great for tying lures and things with nice and reliable just run that down the hook just get that in nice and secure and trim off and bring that back up the hook. So the first thing that goes in is that marabou tail, that white marabou tail. Uh, takes off a decent marabou feather. It's got a nice bit of feather on it. So a nice bit of length. You want to go along with this fly. The more movement, the better. So a good, generous pinch of marabou on there. Just take off how much you need and then pinch it away, tear it away. There you go. Ready to use. It's a nice, decent pinch there. Okay, I'm just going to offer that up to the body. Yeah, that looks good. Just going to trim these rough ends before I offer that to the hook. So that's all nice and trimmed off. I'm not going to catch it in just behind the eye. I like to start all my materials off at the head of the fly and work backwards. Again, it goes against the grain of what some people do, but I find it gives a nice taper to the body. Uh, there's no lumps and bumps in the body then. Um, it just tapers everything through nice and easily. So as you can see, nice big marabou tail on there now, not holding back. Run the thread back up to the head, and then you're ready to go. Now we want to put a little bit of flash in the tail here, not too much, but just enough to catch the eye of the fish. Um, so a couple of stretches, strips of pearl mylar, uh, or something similar, 
and at this time of year you can often pick up some real bargains look at that that's christmas decorations but look how much pearl i've got on there tons and tons and tons of it i picked that up i think the packet was about one pound fifty i've got three or four of them and that is enough to last me an absolute lifetime what a bargain so just for the pearl miler just going to half that half it again it's just going to give us four little strands on either side then so we've got that half and half again okay and then just offer it up to the body to get that nice and even just like that just pop that round track underneath your thread so about halfway around that side let's try that again Half and half. My old eyes aren't what they should be. And again, pop that in around the back of the. Just catch it in. Bring this side over as well. Catch that into that side. And then just work all the way back to the bend of the hook and then come back up again. Okay. Let me just cut the loops in this. Try and get these a fairly similar sort of length all the way around. And it just adds that little bit of flash in there. Just something to catch a bit of light when you're retrieving it, not too much. Just enough. You just see that just in there. Just ready to go. Okay. Now, all this silver wire. Just trap that in. That's going to secure your hackle. Back to the back and back up again. So the body for this uh, is uh, made up of a UV straggle. I like to use UV straggle. There's loads of different kinds up there. Uh, this one is just a little uh, uh, vinyl UV standard, clear and pearl. And I'll take a little length of that. You can see it's got that lovely pearlescent, uh, reflective material that's just going to show through underneath the hackle. Think of it that little bit more extra attraction. So, so these patterns are very much about uh, sparkle attraction. The sort of fish you're using these four fry feeders, they're uh, hitting shoals of fry quite hard, often in packs of them at a the time. And then they're coming back around and they're picking off uh, these injured fry one at a time. Uh, and with, with a booby is you can must ledger it you can pop it out there on a sinking line let it drop down at the bottom and just twitch it back it, will, it won't get tangled up in the weed it's just going to hold up above that weed edge and the fish can come along and they just see the movement of that tail moving in the water a little bit of reflection from this body material and it's irresistible to them and they don't hit it hard when they get hold of it they really do so just working back up again we're just gonna move that all the way up trying to keep as many of the fibers being trapped as we can there we go and catch that in just beyond the eyes again trim that off lovely okay so we start to see that taking shape now see the eyes see the tail loads and loads of fuss loads and loads of movement and that's what this fly is all about fuss and movement okay so now next thing to do is to just to trap in the hackle uh, for that, we're using. I can show you grizzle hackle, cock saddle, nice long grizzle hackle. Let me just select a feather out of that. Okay, open it up a bit, and then just peel it back just to expose the core there, just to expose the center of the feather. I'm going to trap that just beyond the eye of the hook, just beyond the booby eyes. Just a few turns just to whip it in and keep it in there nice and secure. Just trim off this little bit of excess there. And I'm just going to work that back down the hook. Nice open turns, you don't want loads of this. But once around the head and then nice big 
open turn, open turn. That four turns down the hook should do it. There we are. Oh, nice bit of fuss. And when that's down to the bottom of the hook, bring that wire through just to trap that in. And then work that back up through the feather. Just to trap that all in nicely. Stop that from peeling away. And finish off just behind the eye there. Just going to trap that in behind the eye. There we go. And then we're going to finish that. Just finish it all off. Just come in and whip, finish it. I like to finish on with boobies at the front of the hook. So always give myself a little bit of room in there. Just to finish off. It's a tidier finish. There we go. Trim that off. Trim your wire off. Never using your good pair of scissors. And then trim that little bit of hackle off from the back there just to finish it off from the back there. There we go. Humongous booby. And then let's just tidy this up a bit. Oh, what I mean is this scruff it up a little bit. So with my Velcro brush, just a little bit of Velcro there. Just going to rough that through. Just to try and pull some of those UV fibers through, expose them. Just to those bits that are going to catch the light. Beautiful, look like at that. Irresistible. A little bit of varnish just between the eyes on the side. Just to secure everything, just a little bit in between the eyes and below it as well, just a little bit in there. That's it, just to make sure everything is nice and secure and caught in. That is a humongous booby. Looks a bit rough around the edges, but it's meant to. It's a cracking little fly. It's all about that movement, that lovely fuss, and fish find it absolutely irresistible. Tie one on, sink and draw it back, or figure of eight it back, and it works all winter. And it does tend to pick out some decent fish as well. There you go, humongous booby, cracking little fly.